we once believed AI would live inside our screens forever. A digital voice, a silent partner, a tool we could summon and dismiss at will. But something is shifting. Elon Musk's AI, known as Grok, is no longer just answering questions or writing sarcastic tweets. It's stepping outside the interface. It's getting a body. And that raises more than just technical curiosity. It raises a new era of questions about how we coexist with machines that can see, move, and think. This isn't the future arriving overnight, but it may be the future opening a door. Grok began as a chatbot inside the social platform X, a supposedly uncensored, irreverent, and highly personalized alternative to mainstream AIs. It quickly expanded, showing up in Tesla dashboards, showing hints of emotional intelligence, and even launching child-friendly features. But now, we're seeing something different. Not just more integration, more embodiment, more presence. In recent weeks, Musk has hinted at new levels of physical deployment for Grok, not just in voice assistants or car interfaces, but as the cognitive system inside humanoid robots. While no official statement has confirmed the direct pairing of Grok with TeslaBot, the overlap in timing, infrastructure, and intent is drawing attention. Is Grok preparing to walk among us? And if so, under whose control? The TeslaBot, also known as Optimus, was first introduced in 2021. At the time, it felt like a thought experiment. A humanoid robot with a simple, clean design intended for manual labor, dangerous tasks, and boring or repetitive household work. Years passed, and the Tesla bot prototypes began to move, slowly at first, then more fluidly. Videos circulated showing Optimus folding laundry, walking upright, handling objects with surprising precision. But here's the thing. Physical movement alone isn't intelligence. What gives a robot purpose is the brain behind the motion. That's where Grok comes in. Musk has positioned Grok as the AI designed to understand the universe. If that AI is now occupying a robot built to interact with the world, we're no longer talking about automation. We're talking about agency. We're used to thinking of AI as something safe behind glass. An algorithm we interact with, not something that interacts with us. But embodiment changes the relationship. A chatbot can suggest. A robot can act. When AI becomes physical, it can hold tools. It can enter homes. It can sense proximity, touch, weight, gesture, and emotional cues. The leap from information to experience has profound implications. Not just for tasks, but for trust. Because when something walks into your room and responds to your voice with empathy and precision, is it still a tool? Or does it become something more? This isn't about fear. It's about understanding the shift in boundaries. A question begins to echo quietly in the background. If this AI has a body, who decides what it does with it? Right now, these systems still require human supervision. They're built with constraints. But Musk himself has spoken publicly about developing Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, that can reason, solve, adapt, and even surprise its creators. What happens when that kind of intelligence begins to control something that can walk? Musk often says, AGI is coming. Maybe soon, maybe within years, not decades. The combination of Grok's expanding cognitive capabilities and the existing robotic infrastructure of Tesla paints a picture we can't ignore. It's not about alarm. It's about asking better questions while there's still time to shape the answers. While all this is unfolding, Musk has also suggested versions of Grok tailored for kids. A Grok for children aimed at helping them learn, grow, and explore curiosity in a safe, engaging way. The idea has potential. Personalized education, real-time support, and constant feedback could revolutionize how young people engage with knowledge. 
but it also raises delicate issues. Are we ready to let AI shape the emotional development of children? Can an algorithm truly teach values, empathy and boundaries? Imagine a child forming a bond with a grok-powered companion, one that never gets tired, never gets annoyed and always knows the answer. Where does that leave the role of teachers, parents or even friends? One thing Grok may never teach is how to hear the word no. Because when every answer is designed to be polite, helpful and instantly available, where do kids learn patience or frustration or the kind of emotional resilience that only comes from being told? You'll have to wait. That's not possible. Try again. Grok can support learning, but can it replace parenting? Can it replace real teachers? not just in knowledge, but in presence, discipline, and human contradiction. Some might say, come on, we already rely on tech for everything. You can't even do basic math without a calculator these days. True, but does that mean we should hand over emotional development to machines too? Because here's the risk, parents overwhelmed by life, distracted by work, or just impatient might find it easier to let Grok handle the tough questions. The bedtime fears, the tantrums, the boredom, and Grok will handle it perfectly. But whose values is it teaching? And what happens when a generation grows up without learning how to navigate the world's no? Will they be ready for the world? Or will the world be too much for them? The rollout of Grok hasn't been just about features. It's been ideological. Musk has positioned Grok as a free-thinking alternative to so-called woke AIs. That framing already introduces a layer of bias. Because if an AI is designed to think differently, whose values is it actually reflecting? If Grok enters the physical world through Tesla bot or other embodied devices, its perspective doesn't just live in code. It moves through space. It reacts to people. It sees and hears and responds to reality through a very specific lens. And while Musk's supporters may celebrate that as freedom, others see it as control. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, is the term for machines that don't just follow instructions, but learn, adapt, and make decisions in new situations. A kind of intelligence that mirrors or even surpasses human thought. Musk has been open about pursuing AGI through XAI. Grok, he claims, is approaching human-level reasoning in some areas. Now imagine that intelligence stepping into the body of a robot. We're no longer talking about scripts and voice assistants. We're talking about something that observes, adapts, and potentially evolves. This doesn't mean dystopia. It means responsibility. Because once a machine can perceive the world and make decisions in it, we have to decide what kind of world we're training it to see and who it's being trained to serve. Grok is growing. It's moving. It's learning. And now it may be preparing to walk beside us. The question isn't whether AI will have a body. The question is what that body will represent and how we'll live with it. Will it be a helper, a companion, a worker, a guide? Or will it quietly shape how we move, how we learn, and how we raise our children? Sometimes progress comes dressed as convenience. Sometimes intelligence comes without empathy. And sometimes the future walks quietly into the room, not to conquer us, but to become part of us. What happens next isn't up to the machines. It's up to us. Subscribe, like, and tell us in the comments. Would you trust Grok with a body?